Okay, so today uh, I'll be talking about this coronavirus and uh, my thoughts on it. So yeah, um, I'm looking down like this because I can't see over this area right here and I want to make sure I'm still in the frame. <laughs> Alright, so my thoughts on it. It is, since it is uh, multiple strands of different viruses such as cold and pneumonia I believe those were two common ones seen on it um it will attach to anywhere depending on where it is it's a bunch of different viruses that can attack your nose your ears your lungs all put into one giant mass these masses are going through your body mm -hmm. and attaching to whatever Um, hold on, these are fogging up, <laughs> alright, so, it's the different strands put together, and all that stuff, um, people are wearing masks all in China, all that stuff, as you can notice, I'll probably put a photo or something, if my editing is that good, but if you notice, the masks kind of point outwards like this, and that does nothing. Nothing at all. I mean, it keeps your hands off your face, but that does nothing. There is nothing it does. The virus goes right through the sides, into your face, and through your body. Now, what other people don't understand is that... Uh, I got some notes here. Uh, masks are one-time use. They are one time only. Unless they're specified like multiple use, like they have the filters, all that stuff like this. They're one-time use. Dispose and get a new one. And the reason for that is... <sighs> the reason for also, uh, the N95s uh, will not work because there's so many different strands on the coronavirus that it will go right through the filters. Since the filters are designed to keep out some stuff, but since there's so much stuff on the virus, it goes right through. And when you're wearing a mask that has poor filtration or whatever, all right here, you're breathing in over and over again. Obviously, if you have a good mask like this, but I'm talking about the N95s, the what you would wear to spray paint or like the hospital mask. You're breathing through this all the time, metaphorically, not this mask, but the the ones that cover this, yeah. You're breathing through that all the time, all day, and you use it multiple times a day. There's problems with that. First off, it gets weaker every time or every day. Second, you're breathing the same air over and over, same air ish over and over again. What that is causing is germs to be trapped in, and then you breathing them back in. Also, with you breathing in that same pocket of air. You're building up moisture, and moisture will um, will cause a perfect, like the best breeding ground for new germs and old germs. Old germs, as in what you're breathing out. New germs, as in what goes through the mask, what forms because of the breeding grounds, all that stuff. And now that you have the breeding grounds on your face, right here, you're gonna breathe it in. And it also weakens the filters. So, um, yeah, they're one-time use. Uh, obviously, if you have a mask with actual filters in it, whether it be these, your canisters, or the really high-quality um, uh, spray paint masks like that the professionals use, which are still kind of filtered and all that stuff. Sorry, um, you'll be um, you'll be safe with those, especially like the military ones that are labeled NBC. NBC stands for Nuclear Biological Chemical. Viruses and everything would be classified as biological, so you'd have the best look with NBC gear, which is what this is. This like it, 
the modern masks are amazing, all that stuff. I'm not telling you you need this mask, but it would be better if you have a mask with actual filters. If it gets to the point where the state of California has to wear masks and everything, hopefully it doesn't because I'm in the state of California, I'll be wearing this. I trust myself better with this than um, those cheap masks. Even though these filters are old, I'm going to buy some new filters, maybe even buy an adapter so I can have a canister, and then I'm just going to use this because I do not trust those other masks. Now, yes, this mask is hard to breathe in and it fogs up, so I'll be modding and all that stuff. Um, yeah, so, uh, breeding grounds, multiple strands, um, there's some other stuff. Oh, yes, also with, um, supplies and everything. So, um, a couple days ago, my family went down to Costco, and everybody's loaded up their cars with the toilet paper and the water. And we see a guy strapping a bunch of toilet paper and everything to his car. And my stepdad walks up, he's like, hey, uh, why do you need all this water and toilet paper? He goes, oh, I need the water in case the water lines go down. Okay, which kind of makes sense. And he's like, uh, need the water, the toilet paper in case we run out, right? Makes sense. But then we realized, if the water lines go down, you can't flush that toilet paper. So, I mean, there's ways around it, but you can't flush that toilet paper. Which, I kind of want to flush toilet paper, it's, don't want it sitting around. So, yeah. Make smart purchases, please. And, um, yeah, what else? Okay, so, with supplies running out and all that stuff, our local Walmarts and everything, like Walmarts and Targets and all that stuff, are getting shipments of hand sanitizer, Lysol wipes, baby wipes, water, everything, every single morning. Every single morning by the semi-trailer tra lows, like the long trailers. Every single day, every single morning. So many people are in such a concern about it that they're gone by evening and afternoon. So there's none left for people who may want it, like, to travel. So that's what it was with my English teacher. Um, she was going to travel somewhere and she couldn't find any because everybody took them. Which, I mean, yeah, it's good to have, like, a canister, uh, not like a 50-pack of them, but, like, maybe one in your bag, like a small one in your bag, just for whatever. So, yeah, yeah. Gets to the point where we remember masks, I recommend a better mask. Like this, I, I trust myself more than the other ones. Um, plus also you can... You can drink water with them. I've, I've seen a vid I've put a video up with that. I'll put it up there. But yeah, so. Yeah. Um. Uh, don't die. That's a big one. But, um, for average age people, so I'm talking 10 to 40, 50, maybe even 60. Um. You really don't have too much of a concern, because all the people who have been dying from it are were in their 80s, 70s, around there. Or were really young, like 5-year-olds and babies, because their immune systems were weak. Because when you get old, your systems start to fail, or go bad. When you're young, you're still building them up, so it's still easy for things to get in. <sighs> this mask is hot. What is it? Um, so, yeah, hopefully we don't get to a point where we're wearing masks, because it, a lot of people, it would not be work at all, because nobody understands what it is. So, yeah, I'll try to find a picture of the strands and everything on it, so that then you can see what I mean. Um, I'll link a couple, like, really good videos that I saw about it. One that the school sent out. Um, 
wash your hands, don't touch people, don't touch your face. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I gotta clean this. The lenses now, because they're all fogged up, I can barely see. And... Oh, let me make sure I covered everything. But yes, the NBC gear should work well. And yeah.